Hi everyone, this is a quick look at how to construct the Google Cardboard Virtual Reality Viewer. Google Cardboard is a VR experience starting with a simple viewer that anybody can build or buy. And like everyone else, Google have gone down the fun and affordable route. The new version of the Cardboard was unveiled at Google I.O. this year in 2015. It supports larger phones with screens up to 6 inches. The version I have here is adequate to support mobile phones with screens up to around the 5.5 inch mark. So it's perfect for my OnePlus One. All you need to do is go ahead and download and print off the template from the Google Cardboard website and follow the simple steps. Now, as you can see, I have got a Cardboard DIY kit purely because I was having trouble finding the correct type of lenses as a separate component. I purchased this from Amazon for just under £6 delivered. For this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you the components required and I'm also going to go ahead and construct the DIY kit. Uh, I've just received it so I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, this will be the very first time I've seen this kit myself as well. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and create a separate video on how easy it is to construct the Google Cardboard Viewer using the cardboard and supplied instructions on Google's website. Okay, so let's check it out. I'm going to go ahead and open the box. Now this box has a little pull tab, which I'm going to go ahead and open. Now there's a nice little diagram of the completed Google Cardboard when it's actually all constructed. And there's a little warning at the bottom there. Experimental sample for temporary use containing magnets that may affect pacemakers. Now the materials required include of course some cardboard as you can see which is corrugated cardboard. Now it does come in various thicknesses does cardboard called flutes. Google recommend that you use the E-type flute. Uh, for best results you should look for strong, thin cardboard, for example, sturdy shoebox cardboard, rather than a moving box, for example. The minimum size that they require is 22 centimetres by 56 centimetres and about 1.5 millimetre thickness. Now, uh, this particular package does come with the lenses included. Now, this is definitely the trickiest component to acquire, hence my reason for buying this DIY kit. Now lenses that have a 45mm focal distance might work. I'd recommend that you get some bifocal lenses to avoid distortion around the edges. Now the other thing that you would need is one neodymium ring magnet and one ceramic disc magnet so that you can click the options within the apps as your phone will be inside the viewer whilst using cardboard. Now the approximate size for the magnets uh, should be 19 millimeters in terms of thickness and sorry 19 millimeter in terms of diameter and around three millimeters in thickness now you also would need uh, some regular strength adhesive backed velcro uh, as you can see here now the approximate size that's recommended is 20 mil by 30 mil as it works best for this type of setup and of course you'll just need a rubber band to prevent your phone from sliding out now as you can see uh, as part of this particular toolkit that i have purchased it does come with an nfc sticker now this is optional you can program it to open up the google cardboard app automatically as soon as you insert the phone inside it also uh, if you are looking to buy this kit rather than build your own, you may find that you can get loads of different colour options. I'm actually going to coat mine in a clear sticky back plastic to make it feel nicer to hold and hopefully uh, add a bit more resilience and sturdiness whilst I'm using it. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and construct it. Now, as per the uh, original Google Cardboard template, this particular DIY kit does also have the numbers on there, so it's just a case of folding the cardboard in the corresponding uh, uh, and uh, just matching it up with the corresponding numbers. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that's all done. There you have it, the Google Cardboard Virtual Reality Viewer. It took around five minutes to build, very easy, and there's just one last thing to do, and that's just to download the Google Cardboard app on my phone and test it out. Uh, I hope you found my uh, video useful and enjoyed watching. I'll pop all the links in the description below, including the direct links on when you can, where you can buy this DIY kit. Any questions, just drop them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to reply with an answer. Uh, and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and please be sure to watch my other videos for more cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.